Hello crafty friends, my name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And it is time for one of my favorite videos of the month where I share what you have sent to my P.O. Box. I hope you'll stick around and see what came. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share with you all the lovely creations that have came in my P.O. Box during the month. This used to be a strictly show us your sheet load feature, but sometimes I get cards just because too, so I share those as well. Now, if you ever want to send me a card, I do have my PO box in that description box below, and I have a link to this show us your sheet loads guideline video there as well. Now, you don't have to send in a card to show us your sheet load. You can also make a video here on YouTube or do a post over on Instagram, and those instructions are given in that video too. It was a pretty exciting November for my P.O. box. Every time I stopped by, there was a new envelope for me, which I always love, and I cannot wait to see what's in all of them. Let's go ahead and get these opened. I wish you could have been in my craft room with me when I opened up this first envelope, which is from Alessa L. of Florida. You know I love rainbows, and I did do a little out loud squeal when I opened up this beautiful card. She used the November 2022 sheet load as inspiration, and I especially like how she also decorated the inside. Another of my favorites, which I don't talk about as often as rainbows, but is definitely right up there with them, is the fall season and anything with leaves. So this thank you card from Vicki E. of Washington was right up my alley. It is so gorgeous. Bonnie W. used November 2022 for this gorgeous Christmas card. I know that it's hard to see on screen, but she has used a metallic silver card base, and it has so much sparkle and shine. Christina M. from Illinois sent in two cards this month. On the left is a cute example using October 2022, and on the right is a Christmas card using November 2022. I especially like how on the Christmas card, she has used a piece of transparency on her split panel front and has printed the Merry Christmas sentiment in that open area. And then on the inside, she has a pre-printed sentiment that fits right behind the vertical piece on the front. So fun! Vicki R. from Oklahoma sent me this awesome card for Thanksgiving. I love the different pattern papers and that cut apart for the focal point. Nikki H. from California sent in this cute Thanksgiving card. I love that cute little die cut turkey and the addition of the wood grain. Lori K. from Minnesota used the November 2022 sheet load to send this card with a little note to me for Thanksgiving. I love all of the pattern papers on this and the layered little die cuts for the focal point. Jane M. from Ohio sent two cards in her envelope. On the left was that cute embossed one with a little note for me, explaining her card on the right, which is her take on the November 2022 sheet load. Instead of making it a split panel, she used some of the same sized elements for her card and just changed it up. I love it when you all make sheet load your own. Katie D. from Canada sent in five cards this month. The two on the left use the October 2022, and I love those deep, rich colors. And the three on the right use November 2022. I love the more softer color palette and those delicate snowflakes on the front. You can see here how she has used some scraps of pattern paper to decorate the insides. 
Yvonne K. of Wisconsin sent in two cards this month. On the left is an October 2022 example, and I know you might not be able to see it on camera, but that cute little die-cut deer has a red gem on its nose. On the right, she used November 2022, and not only did she rotate it to the side, but she also made a faux split panel card. There isn't an opening between that green and red paper. It is just on a regular white card base. Such a great idea. If you've been watching these Happy Mail videos very long, you know that you always see Vaughn's name and cards on here. Well, in one of her cards this month, she noted that she made a video about it, and it was the faux split panel one, so I went to check it out. I can't believe I didn't already know she had a channel. I thought it would be fun if you would all go visit her video for this card and hey, while you're there, maybe even hit that subscribe button. I will link the video in the description box below. Kathy Weber of New Hampshire sent in two cards also. On the left is a spooky cute example using September 2022, which was a mini tent topper. And on the right, she has used November 2022 and created a clear card. You also know that's one of my favorites. Here you can see it opened up and how she left the bottom pattern piece on the inside and put a little area for a personal note that will be hidden by the vertical piece on the front. Such a great idea. I'm definitely going to have to give this a try. Carmen B. of Colorado has sent in two positively cute cards using the November 2022 sheet load. One thing I really like about hers is how she has used that fun die cut shape for the vertical piece on her split panel cards. She does have a channel here on YouTube called Choose Joy with Carmen and she did share these cards on her channel so I hope that you'll check it out. Trish D. from Ireland, aka one of my crafty Irish friends, sent in six Thanksgiving cards this month using the November 2022 sketch. I love that cute little turkey and especially how she has used some scraps of pattern paper to decorate the insides. The next package was from Jessica N. of Florida, and she sent in five cards. On the top left was a Christmas card with a note for me. Below that was an example using November 2021, and the other three to the right used November 2022. I love all of the different papers and embellishments and how she has decorated each of the envelopes. Such a nice touch. Cheryl S. of Utah sent in a gorgeous trio of fall cards that use various sheet loads of cards issues. I love the color palette and also the decorated envelopes on hers. Thank you as well, Cheryl, for the pretty handmade pattern papers. Karen C. of Virginia did a little sheet load rewinding this month. On the top, you have November 2019, 2020, and 2021, all in a Christmas theme. And then on the bottom, she used one of our mini slimline editions for this thank you card with a nice note inside. And Karen, I cannot wait until we get to meet in person one day either. Joan O. from Denmark sent in a sheet load of holiday cards using November 2022. I love the more muted color palette and how she has also made kind of some faux split panels by just placing a piece of gray cardstock behind the pattern papers. Such a great idea. Another package that made me squeal out loud was this one from Alma D of Canada. Now I'm a big fan of rainbows, clear cards, leaves, autumn, but I also like state related things like state die cuts, United States maps, that kind of thing. So when I saw this card and saw that it was the Canadian version of what I love about the US ones, I was so excited to see it. But not only did she send me this wonderful card, 
but she also included two bowl koozies. So what you do is you put your bowl of soup or whatever in the microwave in these, and then when the soup's warm, well, you know the bowl's usually steaming hot too, but this is going to protect your hands to take that out. My mom had actually shared some she had, I think last month, and I was a little bit jealous. So these came right in time. Thank you so very much, Alma. One of my favorite things to make in the winter is chili, and I make enough to eat for days, so these will definitely come in handy. Wow, once again, I am blown away by your creativity and generosity. Each month as I open these envelopes and read your notes and see your creations, and even sometimes in the lucky recipient of your gifts, I am once again reminded of what great subscribers I have here on my channel. I do treasure each and every one of you and without you, I wouldn't be here. So in this season of thanks, I do just wanna give a special thanks to everyone who keeps watching my videos, leaving comments, giving those thumbs up, sharing them. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed seeing all of today's cards, please give this video a thumbs up. You know it's appreciated. And until my next video, which is the brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.